So now we'll move into NL MVP. Joe, your pick. So I was going to go the guy on the back of this jersey, Ronald Acuna Jr., plus 500. But I feel like I can't do two chump picks back to back to start. So where am I going? Same team, Matt Olson. What? If you could raise that <laughs> average a little bit from the 283 it was at, um, dude's got the power to keep that up. I mean, he was insane last year. Slugged over 600, had an OPS of over 1,000. One of two players to do that in the NL, the other one being his teammate at Ronald Acuna Jr., I believe. 139 RBIs. That production is unmatched. He's got a great lineup around him and guys in front of him that will get on base. Matt Olson, plus 1,500. Put it in. Nick, your pick? Matt Olson. That's a wild pick. Uh, I got Fernando Tatis at plus 1,000. Uh, I think, I don't know, this is the year that he puts it all together. He missed a full year a couple years ago. Last year, you know, wasn't great. Um, but, you know, now he's platinum glove winner. Um, plays great defense in the outfield. <laughs> Easily has 40-40 potential. Um, I think this is the year he puts it all together. Uh, I'm going to chalk it up then. I'm, I'm going to go Ronald Acuna Jr., <laughs> If, you know, what he did last year was able to win him MVP, I don't see why he can't do it this year. You know, if he puts up, again, 70 stolen bases and 40 home runs, then, I mean, I don't know how you give the award to anyone else at that point. His defense is a little lackluster, but, you know, clearly it didn't matter last year. So I think he's got really high repeat potential. You give him a plus 500 on fan. He also had a 338 average. Dude is cracked. Joe, you're a candidate for Dark Horse AL MVP. Uh, NL. Uh, NL MVP. Um, my Dark Horse, plus 4,000 odds, plays an elite shortstop. He goes by Francisco Lindor. Otherwise, three homers against the Yankees on their head. 30-30 um, year last year. Steph has value at 4,000. You could raise his batting average from the pretty bad 254 that it was last year. I, I don't see how he's not in the MVP consideration. I'm pretty sure he snagged a few votes anyway last year. Um, Like I said, his elite shortstop, that's going to help him also with the war. 30-30, I love that. But um, I'm I'm taking my guy Francisco Lindor as my dark horse for, for NL MVP. You know, I think Lindor, since his first year in that contract with the Mets, wasn't spectacular, has been getting a lot of disrespect. You know, last year he put up over six war, right, quietly yeah, on, right. on a bad team. And nobody talked about that 30-30 either. Like... Yeah, because when Acuna does at 30-70. Yeah, you know, I guess <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a, little, a little different. But, you know, I think he's really slept on. Uh, Nick, you're I've always liked him, though. Dark Horse. All right, my dark horse MVP for the NL is going to be Nolan Jones of the Colorado Rockies. Oh, yeah. Plus 20,000. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, my God. I think that's a dark horse if you ask me. Um, the only problem is they might win legitimately like 63 games. Um, but last year, you know, over 900 OPS, plays in course field, plays elite defense in the outfield. Um, I mean, lineup's not spectacular. Um, but, you know, a sophomore kind of jump from him, I mean, I think he could really rake out there. Um, and that's a dark horse, if you ask me. That's the darkest horse in the barn right there. <laughs> All right. I like that. My dark horse will also be pretty deep. Uh, you know, why not stick with Ronald Acuna's outfield mate, uh, Michael Harris the second? You get him for plus 12,000 on FanDuel. Former Rookie of the Year, in a year where he also got MVP votes. Um, you know, he's he's a fantastic defender. He has what I think 30-30 potential if he could kick it up. And, you know, he's going to mean a lot to that team, to a team that's going to win, you know, 100 games. So I don't know how he would outperform Cunha, maybe an injury, but at maybe plus 12,000. That's my dark horse. It's happened before. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. 
that's actually a pretty good one. I like it, but I hate Michael Harris. Nolan so. Jones is better anyway, so. Nolan Jones is crazy. They might win, like, 60 games, but if he hits 50. It would be the craziest. He would have to have, like, a Barry Bonds year. Hit 300, 140 OPS plus last year. Yeah, he, he needs that OPS plus to be, like, in the 300s. <laughs> okay. He's going to have to pitch games for them. <laughs>